Welcome back to Ministry Minute. The topic for today is the harsh reality. Acts 3.19 says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Folks, I made a post on yesterday titled The Harsh Reality. We have to understand that this life is not forever. That there is a time for life and then a time for death. Death is promised. Unless the Lord cracks the sky and we go with him, death is promised. Now, we don't know when that's going to be unless the Lord had told you. But my friend, I, I want you to make sure that you have it right with God. Everybody, me included, we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes in, in our lives. We've, we've messed up. We've done some things. We've said some things. We've bought some things that we shouldn't have. And it's not right. We're not trying, I'm not trying to justify it in no way from a fashion. Sin is sin. Sin is wrong. All sin is wrong. I know sometimes that makes people uncomfortable, but that lifestyle, that sinful lifestyle, whatever it may be, it's wrong. That that getting drunk, that doing all that wild demonic partying, uh, participating in in crystals and magic and all types of witchcraft, uh, homosexuality, all these things, abortion, killing folks, just in general, all of it is wrong. And uh, we're ashamed to say it. Sometimes we we want to shy past those things, but at the end of the day, we're all going to be judged. We are all going to stand before God. And it's going to either be one or two things. Well done or depart from me. Folks, we, we take it so lightly. Me included. Sometimes we, we don't want to hear that. I don't be wanting to hear it all the time. But it's something that needs to be said. Hell is real. We, there's, we can't just talk about heaven, heaven, heaven. And think that you're just going to get in heaven just because you think you look pretty today. No, that's not the case. God loves you. He wants you to go to heaven. He wants you to have eternal life. But there are some things that you got to do. We, we, we got to get right with God. Repentance is necessary. It is key. We all make mistakes. That's why God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross because of this sin-filled world. There is not one person who has walked this earth besides Jesus that has not sinned at least once. That one sin, we may think that, oh, it's just taking that cookie out of the cookie jar without permission, or that little white lie, that one sin, that should separate us from God, and it will separate us from God. The wages of sin is death. I don't care how little or big you may think it is, in the eyes of the perfect, righteous, and just God, all sin is wrong. But what did he do? Out of love, he sent his son to die for us. Jesus came to die for you. You were on his mind as he was on that cross. Jesus had all power in his hands. He could have came off that cross. He could have ended it before, before even stepping foot on this earth if he wanted to. But God sent his son to die. Jesus went through with the plan so we could have the plan of salvation. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that wonderful how the God of the universe cares about you so much that he let his only son die for you? And I made uh, a comment in a post I made on yesterday about how on both sides of the spectrum, people are talking about Jesus. People are passionate about Jesus. So if you just really take a moment to look at it, you have the people who are really passionate about spreading the gospel. And then you have those who are really passionate about taking the gospel away. That in the day, both sides are passionate about something that is focused on Jesus. If you really think about it, people fight so passionately, whether it's for or against Jesus, it's all about Jesus and it's so passionate on both sides. I'm not saying that you should be fighting against Jesus, that I'm not condoning that, but just think about it, the passion that is put into something, whether it's for or against Jesus, that just shows that there's something about that name. How we could go and say God and Muhammad and and Allah and Buddha and all these other false religious, false gods, we could say all this stuff and, and it doesn't strike a nerve. But when you say the name Jesus, people get offended. People, it, it strikes a nerve with people when you say Jesus. You can say God all you want, but when you make it specific that 
is Jesus. People start to get offended. They, a nerve starts to get struck in them. It just proves that there's something about this name. When people could call on the name of Jesus and healing takes place. When people call on the name of Jesus and deliverance takes place. When people call on the name of Jesus and demons start to tremble. It says something about that Jesus. So what am I trying to get to? The harsh reality is not everybody's going to make it to heaven. You don't just uh, show up one day and you just get into heaven. If you're not right with God, you're going to have a rude awakening. Whether it's when that trumpet sounds and God returns and we're all standing before him in judgment. Or when you die. When you close your eyes on this side and open them on the other side. You're going to come to the harsh reality if you're not right with God. Hell is so real. People joke around about us and talk about, I saw a commercial where where somebody was proud to say they're going to hell. And it's, it's, a ter- it's, it's terrible. It's horrible. And it's heartbreaking. And that's coming from my perspective. But think about how it hurts God's heart. To see someone he loves. Someone he sent his son to die for. Just turned from him like that. But the thing is, God doesn't turn his back on us. He's always there. He's waiting with open arms. No matter how much you've gone against him, no matter how much you you said and thought that you weren't going to believe or was going to turn away from God, turn away from the church, he's still waiting there. He's still waiting with open arms. That's just God's wonderful, mighty love. That's just love that you can't explain how he loves us. We sometimes get so mad over the smallest things, but we've sinned probably every single day of our lives and God still loves us? Who wouldn't want to serve a God like this? Every other religion, you gotta work to get your salvation. You gotta work to get into heaven. But with God, with Jesus Christ, it's a free gift. Why are we fighting Jesus? Why are we so against Jesus? Because there's power in that name. Why are people turning away from God? Are you hurt because of the church? or because of somebody who claimed to be a Christian, are you upset because they hurt you? You can't continue to let people define who God is. I heard somebody say that, and it is so true, we cannot let people determine who God is. Because at the end of the day, no matter how Christian you are, you're gonna make a mistake. You're gonna have a bad day every now and then. And then you wanna turn away from God because somebody made a mistake, somebody said something that hurt your feelings. I'm sorry that happened. But don't run from God. Run to God. Ask Him to help you to forgive. To let it go. There's so many people who run from God. For this, that reason, it's no matter what the reason is, God is waiting for you to come back home. Or maybe you haven't even accepted Christ before in your life. Maybe you didn't grow up in the church. God is waiting for you. He's calling you. He's been waiting for you. He's standing there with open arms. He wants to welcome you home. He wants to say well done to you when it's all said and done. God does not want any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. So my friend, if I can encourage you, if I can leave you with something today, get right with God. We don't know when Jesus is gonna return. We don't know when he's gonna crack that sky. We don't know when we're gonna take our last breath. We pray we'll be here for a long time. We pray we have long life, but we just don't know. So friend, get it right. Don't go to sleep tonight. Don't even move on with your day without making sure you have it right. Because things could change in a, in a twinkling of an eye. In a moment's notice, things can change. Don't be that one that dies without having it right with God. Don't be that one who finds out that Jesus is real. Well, you have to stand before him and he has to tell you to depart from him. Stop denying it, folks. Open your eyes. Truly open your eyes and accept God. Hey, if he wants you to, to be right with him. He wants you to have eternal life with him. Hell was not created for us. Stop sending yourself there. Stop with the sin. Stop with the iniquity. I know it's hard. Repent daily when you mess up, when you fall when you fall short, repent, get back up again and live for God. 
be on fire for God. Ask him to refill you with his fire, with his Holy Ghost. God is ready to heal you, to deliver you, to set you free, and he's ready to save you. You got to be willing to accept it. Salvation is a free gift. You have to be willing to accept it.